to 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Um, we are in our new sermon series, I Am In Love With His Love. Yes, amen. Amen. I am in love with his love. Um, we started that on Wednesday. So I want to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Yes, sir. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm going to read uh, the Amplified Classic Version. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, and it reads, For no temptation, no trial regarded as enticing to sin, no matter how it comes or where it leads, has overtaken you and laid hold on you that is not common to man. That is, no temptation or trial has come to you that is beyond human resistance and that is not adjusted and adapted and belonging to human experience. <clears throat> and such as man can bear. But God is faithful. Yes, he is. Yeah. To his word. Uh huh. And to his compassionate nature. Yes, and he can be trusted. Yes, not to let you be tempted. Yes, Jesus. And tried. Yes, and are saved. Yes, beyond your ability and strength of resistance. And power to endure. Yes. But watch the text. But with the temptation, he will always also provide the way out. The means of escape to a landing place. Shout a landing place. That you may be capable and strong God, and powerful to bear up under it patiently. Yeah. I'm gonna teach today. I can handle it. Yeah. I, 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 I can handle it. I, I, I can handle it. I can I can handle it. I tell you next time, I can handle it. You ain't saying right. Tell me, I can handle it. I can handle it. Thank you, God. You still ain't convinced. Tell me, I can handle it. I can handle it. Tell me again, man. I can handle it. I can handle it. But you got to get some attitude with yeah, it. Yeah. I can handle it. I can handle it. Hallelujah. Now, now think about what's trying to bother you. Come on, man. That's how I can handle it. I can handle it. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. Hallelujah. Tell somebody else I can handle it. I can handle it. That's why you're here. May be seated in the presence yes, of the God. Most High God here, there, and everywhere. Yes, God. Yes, God. I'm talking today about identifying threats against His love. Wow. Identifying yes. threats against His love. Yes. Identifying threats against His love. I can handle it though. Yes, I, 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 can, I can handle it. I can, I can handle it. Yeah, I'm saying. I can handle it. That's why He placed me here. Yes. Oh, sure. Yes. No, that, that's why He placed me here. He put me in Crete on purpose. Because he knew I could handle it. Yeah. Now, they ain't going to talk. No, I, I can handle it. Uh -huh. I can handle it. I can handle it. I can handle it. I can handle it. He placed me here to open up the heavens. Because uh, I can handle it. He placed you where you at. Because you can handle it. Don't, 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 don't see it. Wherever you find yourself in life, he puts you there because you can handle it. I wish I had, I wish I had a mad shake right now that know that stuff been trying to bother you, stuff been trying to mess with you, stuff been trying to reconvince you that you ain't gonna make it, stuff trying to let, trying to bother you, trying to wake you up in the middle of the night and try to make you think you gonna fail in life. Change. You gotta get mad enough for the change situation. You gotta get mad enough for the change your circumstances. Can I tell you the devil don't got that much power? Uh, 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 uh. Wherever my life is at, it's my own fault. Uh, come on, somebody. I got the revelation. Wherever I'm at, I can handle it. If I'm tired of being where I'm at, I can move this train to another problem which I have. Tell somebody, say, I can handle it. I can handle it. I can handle it. I can, no matter what comes up, shows up on Monday. 
my nose. And I just started thinking about how good God is to me. Y'all missed that right there. And it allowed me to see this stuff really does work. God really is rich. See, if I told that testimony, somebody out there gets saved, right? Amen. Amen. See, so what you and I go through is not so new after all. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus. It's ordinary for to go through stuff. Or for to feel like life is throwing stuff at you. Or to feel like I just can't figure life out. Yeah. To yeah. feel like well, by now I ought to been doing this. Yeah. It's, it's common. Yeah. It's, there's people that really know God that goes through the same thing. Yeah. But the good thing about it is, is that we know him. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to help you. Mm -hmm. No, if I know God. That'll get me through the tough times. Yeah. It allows me to know that God, his plan is perfect, although I'm not. Yes, sir. It allows me to know that when God decided what he was going to do in my life, he took in account every situation that would arise in my life. He took in account that I would go through times and periods in life, whether it be school, whether it be regular life, to where it seemed like I just couldn't make no friends. God took all that in account. He took in account the way you would feel like, although you have all these people in your life, you still feel like you alone. God, he took all that in account. God also took in account that there'll be times in your life when you just feel like you're just confused. Because it seems like everybody that you grew up with, they mastered and got their stuff all straight and going on. Amen. He took all that in account. Yeah. But when he takes all that in account, God said, but now I got a way of escape. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all miss that? Yeah. That's the beauty of God. Yeah. Have you not ever been in situations and you've been with people and they're talking to you or you even with them or whatnot and they're like, you know, man, I just don't know how I'm going to do this, man. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know how da 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 And then you be like, no, now this what we going to do. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on a second. You didn't take them out of the situation that they were in, but you helped navigate them through the situation. In other words, you gave them a way of escape through the situation. I was a man. Somebody right there. No, 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 no. I need you for to see it now. I need you for to see it that God, watch this, he don't take us out of the situation. He navigates us through the situation. And that's why he said, now love, you need it. Love is the greatest commandment. It is the key to the supernatural. It's the key to supernatural success. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to tell yeah. you? No, it is the key. And that's why we cannot do without love. Do you yeah. not know if it had not been for love that you would be in situations that you would never get out of? Yeah. Amen. If it had not been for love yeah. on your side, which is God yeah. on your side, yeah. you don't know where you'd be sitting yeah. at today. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Do you not know the enemy had already planned for you to be messed up and for your yeah. life to be derailed, but yeah. love stepped in? Yeah. Love stepped yeah. in just in time. Yeah. I know he may not come when you want him to come, but he is always on time. No, that is true. Yeah. Now, because if he came when I wanted him to come, I would never get processed. Yeah. You know, it's love that allows us for to see the best in every situation. Because every situation is not bad. Sometimes God is camouflaged in trouble. Okay, okay, okay. I, I probably lost somebody right there. No, no, I need you for the sin. No, no, no. That's why the enemy, he's always sending stuff against us. He's always sending temp, you know, situations that tempts us for to operate in selfishness, in pride, in arrogance, in envy, in strife. And we know when we get in strife, watch this, it's the key to all manner of evil. So all types of stuff now is being unraveled in our life, trying to mess us up, trying to get us out of our love walk. But how many of you know it's easier to love than not love? Uh-oh. It takes more muscles to frown than smile. Come on, somebody. You got to learn. Come on. You got to smile through your situation. Come on, you got to see it. You got to smile through it. Because when you are able to smile through stuff, you confuse your enemy. Come on, somebody. Come on, come on. You got to be able 
to smile when you want to cry. You got to be able to smile when you want to laugh. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Because you can't laugh all the time. Right. Sometimes you got to hold that laugh in. Yeah. You ever been talking to somebody and they tell you something serious, you just want to laugh? Yeah. I ain't got no help. I'm trying, I'm trying to contemporize the lesson. You know, you be talking to somebody, it's just something about you just want to laugh. Yeah. And that real serious, too. But you just want to laugh. Because you're like, this is just so funny. Yeah. <laughs> this is just so funny. Because you see the devil everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to laugh, but you know if you laugh, they're going to get offended. Right. Sometimes I want to offend, but I want to. But anyway, but I'm just saying, you know. Go ahead, Pastor. But you, you just want to laugh yeah. because you see the devil. Yeah. Come on, you see Lucifer. Yeah. No, we don't say that too much, too. No, no, we see him. We see him operating behind the scenes, and you just want to laugh. Yeah. So instead of laughing, you smile. Yeah. You just smile, and then you be like, you know what? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you, this what's going on right here. Yeah. Come on, somebody. You expose the adversary. Come on. Yeah. Come on. You expose him. Now, you got to understand, that's what love is all about. Yeah. Love heals. Love exposes. Yeah. Watch this. And love delivers. Oh, y'all miss that right there. Come on. Why? That's why the enemy fight. That's why he fights it. He don't want you for the love because it gives you supernatural power. Yeah. And when you got supernatural power, you are an unstoppable force. Yeah. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. That's why we cannot be ignorant of the enemy's devices. Come on. We must not be ignorant of his schemes. Come on, 2 Corinthians chapter 2. Watch the text, verse 10 says, when you forgive this man, I forgive him too. Yeah. See, that, and that's what he want to do. He want to get you in unforgiveness. Uh -huh. That is a device. That's a threat. Uh -huh. That's a threat. Uh -huh. That's a threat right there. I got to grab that. He said, no, no. And when I forgive whatever needs to be forgiven, I do so with Christ's authority for your benefit. Now watch this now. Watch Paul. So that Satan will not outsmart us. Yeah. Oh, shut sure. Hold on. So, Jada, when we operate in unforgiveness, we are allowing the enemy to outsmart us. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Because now, watch this, we have limited supernatural power. Yeah. Yeah. You better hear, you better hear what I'm trying to say. No, we have limited, doesn't mean you don't have supernatural power, but it's limited. Yeah. Because you're holding on. Watch this. Here it is. See, unforgiveness, it wakes us. So when you have a lot of weight on you, it's not that you can't move, but you're limited. Yeah. Are y'all here today? Yeah. Now that's how it is, watch this, when you're walking in unforgiveness, right, it weighs you, watch that, so you have supernatural power, supernatural power, but it's limited. Yeah. You don't have full access to the power. So therefore, some things you lost, so I ain't worried about that, or some things you lost, that really grabs you. Yeah. But if you didn't have the weight on you, you'd be like, oh, no, 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 no. We gonna, this is what we're going to do on this. Yeah. You got to see that. That's very, very, very critical. Why? Because the enemy, what he does is he throws multiple things at us at one time for to try to throw us off course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on now. Let's see what it said. He said, for we are familiar with this evil scheme. We are familiar. That means everything that happens in life is never new. Oh, sure. Yeah. That's a revelation right there. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Everything that happens in life is not new. It's the same thing. You have been there before. Yeah. Oh, tell you, like you say, you've been there before, child. Quick play. Yeah. Say, girl, it's going to be all right. Girl, you have been to a hairdresser before that didn't do it right. So don't get bent out of shape. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Say, it. come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, telling you. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Come on, no. Come on, man. You've been to the barber shop before and they can kind of hit you. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. You've been there before. We are not about to get in unforgiveness over that. Well, okay, I'm trying to show you. We are not about to be offended. Come on, somebody. You have got a surprise bill before. We are not about to go to pieces now. Come on, somebody. This is not the first argument you got into. <laughs> Come on, somebody. It is okay. Come on, everybody. Look at them. Don't pass me. Come on, somebody. You got to understand. No, 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 no. No, this is not the first time. I'm trying to show it to you. Come on. This is not the first time that you woke up feeling some kind of way. 
Come on, let, let's get ourselves together. Come on, let's quit giving the enemy too much credit here. This is nothing new, and I can handle it. I'm, I'm trying to show. I'm trying to show it to you. No, I can handle it because I've seen it before. I've already been in this. People have already told me I was gonna fail. That ain't nothing new. Come on, I've already heard that before. Come on, somebody. Come on, the enemy. He's not throwing that new. It's the same old stuff. Come on, come on. I've already heard you're not smart. I've heard it already. I said it to myself. Come on, you don't got to tell me that. I've already heard that before. Give me something new to work with, devil, because I've heard that already. God, y'all missing it. Y'all missing it. I'm trying to show you. Can I tell it like I feel it, Lord? What you going through is not new. Oh, I wish somebody would have shouted that faster, but it didn't. All right. Now, temptation, what is it? Temptation, watch this, watch this, watch this. Temptation is nothing but a solicitation from the devil. Jesus. Wow. All it is, Chris Nani, all it is, it's a sales pitch. Yeah. That's all it is. He's wanting to sell something to you yeah. that he know you would like. Yeah. <laughs> No, he he want to, he want to, he, see, he, he is a presenter. Yeah. He presents well. Yeah. Jesus. He's only going to present you with something that you're interested in. Yeah. Uh-oh, I'm trying to help uh, <laughs> you. Know he, watch it. He is flattering. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, he's flattering. All right, watch, watch this. The tag proverb said, he that flatters you more than you desire either has deceived you or wishes to deceive you. Wow. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. So the next time somebody try to fill your head up with flattery, yeah. I need you to remember, either they have already deceived you yeah. or their goal is to deceive you. Okay, yeah. okay uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Come on. We are not ignorant right. of his schemes. Because I know he want to tell me what I want to hear. Yeah. Talk to me up in this house, somebody. You know when you were dating, you say stuff that they want to hear. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Come on, help me through here, Pastor. Come on, somebody. No, when you in the dating arena, you say what they want you to hear. Come on, you. Come on, come on, come on. You are a flattery master. Come on, somebody. You said all the right stuff at the right time. At the right places. Y'all yeah. like that? Yeah. That's what the devil do. I, I, I hate that wrestler. Yeah. That's what he does. Yeah. He does the same thing. He'll fill your head up with stuff that he know you want to hear. And he'll do it at the right time, at the right place. Come on, somebody. But I'm not ignorant of your schemes. Come on, tell you that I can handle it. I can handle that. Don't worry. See, you got, you got you understand. So what he does is he brings you. What do he brings you stuff that you like. He brings it into your life, and then he set it right in front of you. Yeah. Good God, yeah. He'll set it right in front. Like somebody, you know, trying to, you know, mm. see, if somebody got wondering eyes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. And the eyes wonder. Yeah. They just can't keep the eyes to the See, sometimes people you tell them keep the hands to the cell. Some people you tell them keep the eyes. Okay. Yeah, All right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Some people you need to tell them keep your eyes to the yeah. yeah. <laughs> keep, keep, keep your eyes. <laughs> keep your eyes to your head. Y'all missed that. He placed it right in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to me in this house. Yeah. Yeah. He placed it right in front of you. Right in front of you. Set it right in front of you. Because he know you like that, don't you? <laughs> Come on, son. <laughs> Come on, son. You like that? I know you like mm, you like that, don't you? Yeah. Uh huh. And if you stay alone. Come on, somebody. You're going to stand it right. <laughs> Come on, somebody. If you stand it too long on what the devil set right in front of you, you're going to stand it wrong. You're going to veer off in the wrong direction, take the wrong course, and you're going to be on the wrong playing field. Come on, somebody. Why? He was able to do it because you wanted it. So what he says is, y'all ready? So what he says is, the enemy never tempts us with something that's not already there. Yeah. Yeah. So if I'm being tempted in an area, then I understand, wait a minute, I got the word that. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. You got to understand, a threat is what it is. Yes, yeah. A threat is what it is. A threat is not a promise. Right. That's them. Yeah. See, a threat, watch this, depends on the actions you take. Yeah. Okay. 
Because anybody can threaten you, but whether the threat is fulfilled depends on you. Y'all right. missed that. Y'all missed a good place to shout right there. But a promise, uh -huh. then you can't change that. If I promise you, you're going to take this whooping today. You're going to get it today. Because I promise. Come on, somebody. But I want to I flip it. But God, he promises us no weapon. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Formed against you. Yeah. Shall be the prophet. Hold on. But the enemy, he threatens us and says, you know you're walking in unforgiveness. <laughs> Come on. But that's dependent upon me. Yeah. That bread is empty if I change. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, somebody. But no weapon formed against me. Now, hold on. That's a promise. Now, that don't matter whether I change or not change. Yeah. Because that's a promise. You can't undo what God has promised. Can I tell you something? God bless your life. You can't undo the blessed life that's already on your life. Because that's a promise. Now look what he said. He says, hold on now. I need to put it So you got two things you can do. Either you're going to say yes to it. Right? You're going to say yes to it. Right? Or you're going to say no if it's not to your advantage. Now, that's what you got to watch. Watch that. I need you for the baby to see. Because God said, now, this is what I'm going to do. He said, now, I'm going to show you why it's not to your advantage. This is why it's not to your advantage for the, you know, not walk in love. Yeah. Because you give the enemy, you know, a path to your life. Yeah. yeah. You give him access to your life. But when you walk in love, watch this, you summons my presence. Yeah. Good God. Because God say, I am love. God is love. Well, if God is love and I operate in love, then God remains with me at all times. Yeah. I summons his presence. Yeah. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Well, if I summons God's presence, that means he's always with me. That's right. Well, if God is always with me, then why I'm worried about what somebody say? Yeah. Go okay, y'all. You don't see it. Because God is with me. Okay, if I whip Pastor T, she know she ain't got to worry about nobody. Because yes, I whip her. Y'all, y'all, yes, y'all. Because yes, I whip her. Because yes, I'm not going to threaten you. Yes, I'm going to promise you. Yes, you, you miss, you miss. <laughs> now you, you miss your place to shout. I'm trying to contemporize the sermon. Pastor say, hold on. If I whip, I'm about to throw it on you, physically or spiritually. For a host of heaven all around her right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for all your angels already around her in the name of Jesus. I thank you for clearing the path, Father, that her life will always be productive. Father, I thank you for blessing and protecting her to and from her being a destination, safe and sound, without any problems, issues, or concern. I thank you, Father, for favoring her. Everywhere she goes, she's favored. Every conversation she holds, she's favored. In the name of Jesus, no weapon formed against her. Shall be able to prosper. I ask you for destroy those weapons before they form, so they cannot prosper. In every tongue that rises up against her in judgment, shall you condemn it? If not, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Amen. No, you missed that one right there. Because what I just do, uh, I just promise. I just promise if anybody try to even strain their head for to do anything against her life, God's going to choke them. What I did, I did what I couldn't do. You missed that because I won't whip them. Come on, somebody. Do you not know that if God be with you? That's why some stuff, it tried to come against you, but it see God. Some stuff try to say stuff against you, but they see God. Y'all missed that right there. Sometimes you just see God. Oh, shut up. Hold on. Wait, wait. And my eyes playing tricks on me? Yeah. And my eyes playing tricks on me? I clap. I just saw some angels. But come on, somebody. I just saw them. Come on. Y'all missed it. Oh, yo, you think your eyes. No, your eyes ain't playing tricks on me. No, you just saw your protection. Yeah, okay. Let me move on. I got hurt. All right, threat number one. Threat number one. Shout threat number one. Threat number one. Contaminated atmosphere. Ooh. 
Contaminated atmosphere, that's threat number one. When you're talking about threats against his love. Yeah. Because if your atmosphere is contaminated, he better hear what I'm telling you. Other words, you be having a conversation. You ever been, have you ever been having a conversation and you just claim you heard something? Yeah. And the person be like, I didn't say that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Two, okay. three years. Yeah. And y'all were yeah. too safe. Y'all bogging my nerves today. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Watch this now. I need you for the seeing code. Hold on now. You having a conversation and you just know you heard the person say it. Yeah. You're yeah. like, you ain't come at me like yeah. come, come on, nigga. You coming for me like yeah. that? Yeah. I bet you ain't coming for me like that. Because I'm telling you, yes, you I ain't the one today. Yeah. yeah. That's uh -huh. right. Go ahead. Yes, right. Right. Come on, Chris John. I see her. I saw her. She's like, yeah. all right. <laughs> 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 I'm not moving. You, you yeah. don't want to do that today. Yeah. You yeah. not. And they're like, I ain't say that. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Come on, yeah. somebody. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. That's a contaminated atmosphere. Yeah. The atmosphere has been contaminated. Yeah. And the enemy, he did on purpose. Why? He want to get you out of love. Out of come on, somebody. He contaminated the atmosphere. Yeah. That means stuff was already spoken in the atmosphere before you even got there, before you even showed up. Okay. Sometimes we speak stuff in our own atmosphere yeah. contaminated. Yeah. Jesus. Wow. Out of what we don't understand. Yeah. Oh, that's, this is good here. Yeah. No, no, no. No, we have to contaminate our own atmosphere because of stuff we don't even understand. So we get to saying stuff. Like, I make me sick. Well, yeah. guess what? You just spoke sickness in the atmosphere. Yeah. Right. 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 The atmosphere is contaminated. Yeah. Come on, you hear what I'm trying to Man, every time we talk, you always da 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 da. See, you don't say it while you're there. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. You contaminate in the atmosphere. Yeah. Come on. Whether that's home, whether that's work, yeah. whether that's church, whether it's your spiritual walk. Yeah. Come on, I mean you better see it. Yeah. You know what? I just you know, I just not able to love certain people. You're contaminated. Yeah. The atmosphere. So when you have certain conversations, yeah. you hear stuff. You hear stuff because the atmosphere is contaminated, so the enemy is able to take advantage of that. Let me show it to you. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 through 5. says, for though we walk, live in the flesh, we're not carrying on our warfare according to the flesh right. and using mere human weapons. Right. He said, now I'm trying to tell you, no, this flesh, this flesh stuff. So that's why you can't get caught up in your flesh. Yeah. Okay. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Woo, work yeah. with me today. Yeah. No, you yeah. cannot get caught up in your flesh. Yeah. Because if you get caught up in your flesh, see, you're going to hear stuff. The enemy is able to tweak the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, now. You ever planned out a conversation okay. and it just went south? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Atmosphere contaminated. You didn't, you, watch this. You didn't, you didn't catch the contamination. Sometimes in a few sentences, you're like, well, okay, something ain't right about this. Yeah. So you're supposed to start praying. Yeah. Trying to show you. You got to start praying, okay, Lord, in the name of Jesus. You might can't say it out loud, but depending on who you have a conversation right. with. Right? Yeah. right? Yeah. You're like, okay, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, don't let nothing come against my love walk. That's yeah. right. Come on, I'm trying to show it to you. It's criminal. Yeah. Watch them. Lord, I need you right now, Father, for the cleanse this atmosphere in the name of Jesus. Allow this to be a productive conversation in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Father, thank yeah. you right now, Father, for allowing this. You know, for the manifest right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I'm trying to show you, this is everyday living stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because even in a text, yeah. the atmosphere can be, yeah. okay, yeah. okay, yeah. real life stuff, real life stuff. Let's that's, 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 that's bring the Bible in our life. Yeah. Come on, that real life stuff. You read a text like, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. right? Yes. Or, y'all know my pet peeve. Or uh, you send out a text and you don't get a response. Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. You like? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Well, who do you th or think you are? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Come on. That's yes, right. sir. That's right. Come on, somebody. I'm talking about. Go ahead and watch it. I got to watch my atmosphere. Okay. Right. Don't let stuff start playing with your head. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Come on, somebody. Wait a minute. It took them a long time to respond. Uh huh. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. The atmosphere. Right. Come on. It's trying to mess with your head now. Come on, you take two months, mom. I'm calling you. Yeah. Y'all miss that. Why? Because I'm not going to let the atmosphere start playing with me. Amen. 
Y'all ain't hear the name. For the weapons of our warfare are not physical. Weapons of flesh and blood, but they are mighty before God for the overthrow and destruction of strongholds. Oh, here it is, verse 5. Inasmuch as we refute arguments and theories and reasoning. Oh, arguments, theories, and reasoning. He's talking about conversations. Paul's talking about conversations. Yeah. He says a lot of conversations that be going on that you don't know about while you have a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. He said in your mind and in their mind, there's a lot of conversations going on. Yeah. So you got to be praying yeah. while, this, while you conversate yeah. that God, that you are uncontaminating the atmosphere, yeah. making the atmosphere conducive for your word and your counsel to flow. Y'all miss that right yeah. now. And for your plan to manifest. You got to see that. Always know when you're having a conversation, there's always another conversation that's going on. Yeah. Come on, this is going to help you right here in life. Come on, somebody. Even when you're, you know, young people, you know, uh, you always tell them, uh, you know, uh, please aspire to, you know, to be the greatest in whatever you do. Yeah. Well, while I'm having that conversation with you, there's a whole lot of other conversations saying, man, you know, you ain't going to be no pass. You tell everybody that. Oh, yeah. Wrong, because I don't tell everybody. Right. I only tell the people who I really, you know, see and believe. Yeah, that's right. Got it? Come on, somebody. No, no, no. What's that? Well, you know, now how you ever do that? You know where you're from. Go ahead. Because there's a lot of conversations going on. So you got to be like, oh, no, no. I received that law in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I declare crop failure to every yeah. unannounced conversation that's taking place right now. Yeah. Boy, that's good right there. Yeah. Y'all teach you good. This is how I'm going to tell I said, now, here it is. Every proud and lawful thing that sets itself up against the true knowledge of God. Huh? And we lead every thought yeah. and purpose away captive into the obedience of Christ. Oh, okay. So I'm going to capture that thought. Yeah. Right? I'm going to capture that conversation. Yeah. I'm going to capture those words. Yeah. And I'm going to torture them with the word of God. Yeah. That means I'm going to speak against those words. Yeah. Come on, somebody. So they will not have any effect on my life. Yeah. A lot of times, we let too many conversations go unchecked. Yes. Amen. Yes, Amen. You better hear what I'm trying to tell you. You better hear what I'm trying to tell you. Hold on, no. That's a threat against his love in your life. Yes. Because, see, he wouldn't have said that his love is the greatest commandment if it didn't mean nothing. Yeah. He's trying to tell you if you walk in his love, you will live a successful life. Yes. Go, go. That means whatever it is that you aspire to do in life, you'll always win. Shout out, always win. Always win. All right, let's go to James chapter 3. Let me hear it. Uh, thread 2, lack of understanding. Thread 2, lack of understanding. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, sir. I like folk taking notes. That's a blessing there. Yes, Watch it now. Now, lack of understanding. You got to grab this. Watch this. Uh, James chapter 3, verse 13 says, If you are wise and understand God's ways, prove it by living an honorable life. Yeah. Hey. And doing good works with the humility that comes from wisdom. Yeah. The way he said now, he said, Oh, wait a minute. What? Lack of understanding. Yeah. He said, No, no, no. If you are wise and understand God's ways, right now, and understand God's ways, prove it by living an honorable life. And doing good works with the humility that comes from wisdom. Yeah. He said, listen, if you have an understanding of God's ways, then you're going to always have productive communication. Oh, you're going to always aspire to do what's right, even if other people are doing what's wrong. Man, that's the life Jesus lived. Think about Jesus. Jesus walked the earth. I mean, Pharisee, man, Sadducee, all them jokes, man. They're always trying to play Jesus. Yeah. Jesus always did good works. Yeah. Come on. He, no, no. He didn't, he didn't, watch. He didn't give in to their stuff. Right. He always did good unto people. Uh -huh. Come on. You better hear what I'm telling you. No, no, no. We prove that we understand God's ways by doing good. Yeah. By speaking well of people. You hear what I'm telling you? Look what it says. But now, but if you are bitterly jealous and there is selfish ambition in your heart, don't cover up the truth with boasting and lying. Okay. Now, look what he said now. He said, now, I'm going to tell you. He said, now, I'm going to tell you right now. I have a respect for love. Yeah. Because see, love don't lie. That's right. 
That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Love tell the truth. Yeah. Nah, see, what love do is love say, hold on now. Wait a minute. Wait, no, no, no. No. This is what it is, but you know, you know how we roll though. I still love you. Yeah. yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. It does not mean that I'm gonna lie and act like something don't exist. Yeah. Me, I'm not gonna act like, you know, traffic, you know, traffic bothering me don't exist. Yeah, yeah. Right. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Amen. <laughs> Because it, it does. Yeah. It bothers me. Yeah. It bothers me when people don't know how to drive. Right. Yeah. Got it? Amen. Look, come on now. I'm not, not going to lie to myself and say they don't exist. Right. But love says, but when all know they can't drive, you still got to speak good things about them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I got something on yeah. yeah. Come on. But I got to say that. I still got to speak highly of them. Yeah. Not Lord. Good Lord. Let, let them do something. You know. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. I got to make sure. Y'all see it? Yeah. I gotta make sure that I'm still remaining honest. I gotta have respect for love. Yeah. And oftentimes we don't respect love. Yeah. Wow. Love demands respect. Wow. Come on. I gotta respect love. No, I gotta look up to love. Come on now. I gotta look at love as a being. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Why? Because God is love. Yeah. So since God is love, I gotta respect love. Because I'm respecting God if I respect love. Yeah. So when I respect love, I respect God. Yeah. If I just in return, God blesses my life. He infuses my life with the grace to be able to go through situations. Yeah. I got to see it. Y'all all right? Amen. All right, watch it now. Watch it. For jealousy and selfishness are not God's kind of wisdom. Yeah. Okay, so I can't be jealous. Yeah. I can't be selfish. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on now. All right, watch this now. Such things are earthly, huh? unspiritual, and demonic. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait, we're talking about warfare. Oh, because Paul just crossed over and said, hold on. Wait a minute. It's earthly, unspiritual, and it's demonic. Yeah. So when I'm operating in jealousy and selfishness, I'm not realizing that I'm operating in stuff that's associated with demonic activity. Am I doing all right, Pastor? No, I did All right? Now, I need you for to see it. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Now, this thing just got a little deeper now. Yeah. Because what he's saying is, he's like, no, see, you know, if you're always tripping and whatnot, or easily offended, or, you know, you blow up at stuff, or you just start speaking a bunch of stuff that don't even make no sense, or you're judgmental, yeah. uh, or, you know, you doubt God's love, and yeah. all this kind of stuff. He's like, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're going to crash right into jealousy and selfishness. Yeah. Yeah. See, you're jealous because other people who've been saved less time than you, doing bigger things than you, yeah. you've been saved all your life. Yeah. Butch just got saved last week, yeah. and Butch already, you know, got a million dollar business. Yeah. Here you've been saved, come on, Terry. You've been saved here 50 years. Yeah. Uh -huh. You still got a pinto. Put, put, put. Yeah. And I'm about to talk to me, y'all. Yeah. Come on, somebody. So now you jealous. Yeah. Come on, somebody. In the separate side of you said, hold on, Lord. Now, I've been saved longer than them. Yeah. I've been around. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I show up church early every week. I turn the lights on. I turn the heat on. I do all that stuff. Yeah. Come on, Lord. Surely by that, that don't account for something. Well, they're keeping you alive. Yeah, Come on, so okay. All right. Come on, somebody. That's keeping you alive. At least you're still here. At least you still got an opportunity for the new belt. Come on, somebody. That's for somebody right there. At least you're still alive and you have the opportunity to do better. All right, watch this. Here it is, right? Here it is, Pastor. For wherever there is jealousy and selfish ambition, there you will find disorder. And evil of every kind. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. Something that I'm trying to figure out, Nick. Now, why is it that my life seems like it's just out of order? Well, yeah. if I have jealousy and selfish ambition, selfish ambition means whatever I got to do to make sure my stuff comes to pass, I'm going to do it. Meaning, if I got to step on you or if I got to do whatever it is I got to do, I'm going to do it. Go ahead. That's selfish ambition because it's all about me and nobody else. Right. When I make everything about me, right. that's selfish ambition. Uh -huh. yeah. right? right? He said, hold on. He said, I need you to understand. No, 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 no. You're going to find disorder and evil of every kind. Yes. Oh, you missed that? Yeah. Evil of every kind. Yeah. Cool. 
When he say every kind, he mean every kind. Do you know how many kinds of different evils there are out there? There are so many different kinds of evil that I ain't got time to say all of them. Because it's just too many of them. You know, understand what I'm trying to tell you. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. That's mental evil. That allows your mental capacity to begin to diminish. To where you just feel like you just don't know how to just get nothing or put nothing together. Yeah. Come on, somebody. I'm talking to somebody. Well, you, you mentally, you just feel, you know, just deranged, man. You just mentally, it's like you just don't know what's happening in your life. Yeah. You just don't understand no matter what you do, nothing is just seems to work in your life. Oh, it seems like with God, uh, everything is coming together, but you're still unhappy. Yeah, yeah. come on now. Your heart still hurt. Yeah. 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 You still feel like there's something missing in life. It seems like you got everything, but you don't have everything. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Every kind of evil, because you had enough selfish ambition for to accomplish the things that you wanted to accomplish, but you left God out. Jesus. Yes, Jesus. But you left, can I say it again? Yeah. But you left God out. Yeah. Come on, young people. Don't never, ever, ever leave God out. No matter what you do, keep God in your life. Keep God as the foundation in your life. Because I'm a witness. If you leave God out of it, eventually it's going to fall in it. All right, let's move. Threat number three. Y'all ready? Yeah. Threat number three, my last one. Sabotage communication. Ooh. Wow. Sabotage communication. Sabotage communication. That when your communication has been sabotaged. Okay. All right, all right. Here we go. Proverbs 21, verse 2. You know, they're talking about right in your own sight. Yeah. Every man's way is right in his own eyes. But the Lord weighs and examines the hearts of people and their motives. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, say I'm talking communicating. All right, so now we're talking. We're talking. Say God and I talking. God Shout God and I talking. God and I talking. Now God and I talking. Now, and I know God, he knows what's best. Yeah. Watch it now. I know, now I know God knows what's best, but I see it my way. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, now we talking about God though. Yeah. No, no, no. Like God can be talking to you, but you yeah. still see it your way. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Now, no, I'm talking about God. Yeah. God, yeah. the one who knows everything. Yeah. You and him have a conversation. He said, "Now look, and this is what he's supposed to do." Blah, 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 blah. But while he's saying it, you see it another way. Yeah. yeah. Because you're like, well, "Why would I do that?" Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, we're like Pete. All right, Pete. You know they remember they were fish, mm -hmm. all them fish and all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. You know, people, friends, fish. Yeah. Him and all his boys with him, they yeah. fish. Uh -huh. Then Jesus be like, hold on. I tell you what, scratch all that. Let's do it this way. Yeah. Hold on. What are you talking about? Yeah. Come on. In, in, their, in their own eyes, they say, hold on. But I've done this all my life. Yeah. So how you going to come tell me for to do it this way? Y'all yeah. miss your place. Okay. Shout out. Yeah. Good through that. Come on now. Now don't lie, man. Y'all know God will tell us, now do it this way. But you're like, now God, I've been doing it like this. I know it works like this. But God, like, no, but do it my way. Why? What I'm saying? That's sabotage communication right there. Because in my own sight, I'm saying, I don't care what God say. I'm going to still do it this way. That means I'm not trying to hear nothing because the enemy has already sabotaged the communication. That means, watch this, there is a tap on the line. That means the line been tapped. Somebody tap your line, they hear all your conversations, right? Y'all yeah, yeah. hear today? Yeah. They hear all your conversations. So therefore, they know what to uh what to uh inject in the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Because they've heard. So by the time you and the person talk and whatnot, then they're telling you, yeah, you know, well, what you need to do is X, Y, Z. And you say, Dad, seems like you heard my conversation. Come on, somebody. I'm talking to somebody in this house. Come on, somebody. You're like, oh, were you, were you in my house? Yeah. Hey, talking about the past now. Were you in my house? <laughs> That's right. Come on, somebody. Come on. I know mine's in here. I know mine's in mine. Come on, somebody. No, were you in my house? Oh, wait, what, what's going on here? Wait a minute. And they try to tell you, right now, what you need to do is do like this, da 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 It's like, you kind of know that that ain't the right way to go. Right, right. Come on, that's a tap on your line. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Right. All right, James chapter 1, verse 19. It says, understand this, my beloved brothers and sisters. Let everyone be quick to hear. Be a careful, thoughtful listener. Slow to speak. Speaker of carefully chosen words and slow to anger. Patient, reflective, forgiving. Y'all hear? Look what he's saying. He's saying, no, no, no. 
Now, this is why I need you to be careful in your hearing. Because you're having a conversation. Right? You're doing daily life. He's like, but if you're not careful to really listen to what's going on, then the communication is going to be sabotaged. I mean, but you're going to hear things and you're going to see things that are really not there. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Come on. I know you're real saved. That don't happen to you. I know. But just act like it. Do. Okay? Yeah. Come on now. You know, but stuff, you know, you, uh, you know, you got, you, uh, you're talking about something. You're discussing something. Even when you're discussing business. Yeah. Yeah. You're discussing business and you're hearing things. Yeah. You're seeing things. Yeah. You're going back to where, you know, somebody that look like the person that you're doing business with wrong you. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so now you're like, I'm doing no business yeah, with you. Yeah, no. Yeah. Come on, but it's God ordained no. though. Yeah, and the enemy know it's God ordained. Y'all miss it. Yeah. But the enemy know it's God ordained. So what he's doing? He's sabotaging the communication. Yeah. Because communication is not always verbal. Yeah. Communication can be non-verbal yeah. and it can be mental. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on. He's getting in your heart. He's talking to your heart. He's talking to your heart. Don't trust him. Don't trust him. Because you know last time, this right here happened. Come on, somebody. Yeah. He's trying to come on. He's trying to mess with you. Yeah. He's trying to get you out of the will of God. He's trying to get you out of love walk. Because he understands if you remain in the love walk, you're always invoking the supernatural. Yeah. All right. Last one, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Watch this. Watch this now. Watch this. Watch this. This tree of life verse. Verse 29 says, let no harmful word come out of your mouth. Oh. Wait a minute. Let no harmful word come out of your mouth. You know what? Now we all got to pause and check ourselves through that. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yes, sir. Let no harmful word yes. come out of your mouth. Now, I'm talking, I'm talking about being a real Christian now. Yeah. Let no harmful word. Somebody got to preach this stuff. Yeah. Let no harmful yeah. word. Yeah. Come on now. I ain't there yet, but I clap. I'm striving. Yeah. Come on, let no harmful yeah. word come out of your mouth. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Wait a minute. Yeah. If we're Christians, we yeah. can't be talking certain kinds of ways. Yeah. It says let no harmful word come out of your mouth, but only what is beneficial. For building others up according to their need. Yeah. So when I'm in a conversation, or if I'm having a conversation about someone, I don't need to let no harmful word come out of my mouth. Yeah. I need to let words come out of my mouth that's going to benefit them. Yeah. That's going to build them up. Yeah. Come on. I'm talking about his love. Yeah. I'm not talking about my love. It's not about my love. Because my love is condition driven. Yeah. But his love is unconditional. Yeah. Come on. No, no, I need for the sin. It's unconditional. It don't have no conditions on it. And what God's saying is through here, he's saying, wait a minute. When you let harmful words come out of your mouth, you are sabotaging somebody's life. Yeah. You're tearing them down. It wouldn't say build up. It wouldn't have said build up if the words won't tear them down. Because harmful words, they tear down. They begin to tear a person down. They begin to mess with a person mentally. Yeah. Begin to destroy dreams. Come on, somebody. You don't tell a person that they're not going to be able to do it. Don't let the first thing yeah. you know come out of your mouth with how you're going to do it. Yeah. Come on. Can we get away from that? Yeah. We're we'll get to that. Yeah. But come on, that shouldn't be the first thing. The first thing should be, I see God doing that in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's God. Amen. Come on, that's his love. Come on, y'all. Because if not, Harmful words coming out of my mouth that's threats to his love. Yeah. But tell your neighbor, I can handle it though. Yeah. Don't say I can handle it because at the end of the day, if all this stuff don't work that Pastor gave me, there's one thing I know will work. Yeah. I start thinking about his goodness. Y'all yeah. yeah. miss that? Yeah. If nothing else yeah. seems to work, yeah. because I've seen the times I've been in life where I didn't know all these scriptures. I didn't know how this word worked. But when I would start thinking about his goodness and all that he's done for me, come out somebody, come out somebody. When I think about his love, got me out of this jail. His love delivered me from this. His love kept me from being suicidal. His love delivered me from depression. His love delivered me from the spirit of worry. Come on, somebody. I used to be the world's best warrior. Worrying about everything. Bro, man, my stomach would be in knots all the time. Because I was worried. Worried about everything.
everything. But then God, his love delivered me from the very thing that was making me sick. If I can't remember the Bible, I can remember what he's done for me. What I want on somebody, he delivered me. He brought me from a mighty long way. He turned my life around. When it seemed like my life was sinking, God threw me an anchor. Come on, somebody. If the word won't work for me, my thinking will. I think on him and what he's done. And it always works. Tell your neighbor, say, if nothing else works, think about his goodness. Say, it won't take long. Not about last year, but a moment ago. He was good to me. He kept my mind, baby. He's still a bridge builder. Come on, somebody. He's still a good old lawyer. Come on, somebody. He's still a mighty counselor. Oh, yes, he is. He's still a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Oh, yes, he is. I wish I had somebody. Tell somebody I can handle it. Come on, somebody. Jesus said, Peter, the enemy want to ship you as weak. He said, but I prayed for you. You know what he said? He said, Peter, you can handle it now. Because I prayed for you. Can I tell somebody? I prayed for you. And I know you can handle it. Although the enemy want to sip you as weak. I want to tell you something. Deontay, you can handle it. Don't give up. Don't give in. Because God will. I wish I had somebody. God will. Won't he help you? Won't he save you? Won't he look out for you? Won't he, won't he, won't he, won't he? I wish I had somebody. I might as well preach a little while. I'm too lecturing now. But sometimes life will throw you a curveball. But you gotta be a good hitter. Everything that the devil throws. Give me them drums, friend. Everything that the devil throws, you got to be a good battle. I'm going to knock this thing out of the field. If it kills me, I'm going to keep on going. If it gets me down, I'm going to get back up. I wish I had so 
So, Father, I pray right now for the world itself. Touch this world, Lord, with the finger of your love. And let us be love extensions in this earth realm to let others know that you love them. Father, I thank you for saving souls on today. I thank you for rededications on today. I thank you, Lord, for all you would do as every believer and non-believer who is becoming a believer on today. Lord, for everyone who will view the replay of this lesson, Lord, I ask you to pray for them right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that this will be a living room experience. Yes, God. <laughs> yes, God. I thank you for it now. Press the anointing. Yes, in Jesus' name. Yes,